A team of scientists from MIT and elsewhere has used one of the main detectors at the Large Hadron Collider, the so-called Compact Muon Solenoid, or CMS, to track down mysterious X particles, which haven't existed in nature since shortly after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. In the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe was filled with an incredibly hot mixture of quarks and gluons, the main building blocks of matter today. The particles in this quark-gluon plasma briefly stuck together in many different ways before cooling and combining to form the protons and neutrons of ordinary matter. In the confusion before cooling, some of the quarks and gluons collided randomly to form short-lived X particles. For years, physicists have speculated that it should be possible to create X particles in high energy accelerators such as the LHC, which for brief moments can generate a quark gluon plasma. Now a definite signal of X particles at the LHC has been found. The team that made the breakthrough used machine learning techniques to sift through more than 13 billion collisions each of which produced huge numbers of charged particles. Amid this dense, high-energy particle soup, the researchers identified about 100 X particles of a type known as X3872, named for the particle's estimated mass. In fact, this isn't the first time the X3872 has been seen. X3872 particles were actually discovered in 2003 by the Bell experiment, a detector attached to a collider in Japan. But the rare particles decay so quickly that scientists weren't able on that occasion to find out anything about their structure. One possibility is that X particles are a kind of tetraquark, an exotic particle made from a combination of four quarks. Another suggestion is that the X3872 is a kind of molecule made not of atoms, but of two loosely bound mesons, particles which are themselves made from two quarks. Over the next year or two, the team behind the new announcement hoped to probe the X particle's internal structure by looking in more detail at how it decays. If the X3872 is a tetraquark, it should decay more slowly than if it were a loosely bound molecule. Their ongoing research will hopefully shed more light on the fundamental nature of matter and the type of particle reactions that took place at the dawn of time.